it's finally here, multi-threading for DCS. Now bear in mind it's an experimental feature for the moment only available in the open beta. For more I'd recommend looking through the multi-threading FAQ which explains everything and is linked below. So how does it all fare? You can see my graphics settings on screen, I run an NVIDIA 3080 Founders Edition, i7 8700K which for these tests is not overclocked, running stock speeds, 32GB RAM and an NVMe SSD for Windows and DCS. Each benchmark I've recorded was a track replayed in single player for direct comparison with both single thread and multi thread enabled. There are still a few desyncs and the head tracking stutters a little which is unfortunately a replay limitation. First test scenario was an empty map cruising over heavily populated areas, the one situation I expected the least gains. In most busy areas over cities we're seeing about a 25% increase in FPS, with the gains diminishing the higher up you fly. It's a little situational, but generally a fair improvement in performance over single core, but you still can find yourself GPU bound over some locations negating the advantages of the multi-threading on my system. So it's more than just an upgrade to potential mission complexity, we're seeing performance gains across the board. Now next up we stress tested on a carrier deck with a full complement of aircraft launching in the rain. I had expected we'd be GPU bound here, but no, the FPS has been dragged back up to about 60 FPS. This is the one place I've always hated performance and struggled for frames. Never managing above 60, but with multi-threading we're just about maintaining above that, making it feel smooth. The improvements are less than elsewhere, but still, enough in my case to be quite content. Taking it further, night lighting in the same situation, again we saw gains, although the light ones are not rendering a known bug. The gains are even greater with the extra stress of night lighting and the shadows drawn on deck, we're getting close to doubling our FPS once more so long as we are looking at the deck. Finally we've a quick action setup around an airbase with a number of static aircraft, active aircraft, anti-air systems and tanks in motion. We're frequently seeing the FPS almost double under multi-threading once more, which is a huge achievement showing just how badly DCS has been bogged down by its single thread mode. As the battle progresses and units died off, the benefits lessened. I'm seriously happy with just how much improvement we've gained overall. Now, I've not tested it in multiplayer as creating a multiplayer replay track for direct comparison is sadly next to impossible, but we can expect to see huge gains here as well as historically playing on large servers has been very taxing on your CPU. However, unit AI is run server side so the benefits may be a little less than they are in single player. If you're already GPU bottlenecked you're going to notice less or even no performance gains, particularly in VR or 4K when your graphics card has already been overstressed. And with all that said, there's still a few bugs like nightsticks being missing from the crew, MFD exports are broken, motion blur is dark, and clouds twitch with your head movement, and many other minor issues, but at long last, after years of poor performance it's great to see some come back to us, it's a huge step forward for DCS and will help those of you on lower end machines too, this will enable more complex missions and features within DCS for less of a cost than previously possible. I'd love to see how this scales with even more cores and more powerful CPUs, but at long last I'm hopeful again for DCS performance rather than the silent resignation of our FPS slowly being dropped away year by year. I've a link to the unedited benchmark replays for those interested in the full videos in the description and comments below. Hope you've enjoyed and take care.